Today is August the 22nd, 2015, and I just recently picked up this really nice Keithley Model 241 regulated high voltage power supply. I was looking on YouTube, and there's actually uh, YouTube videos out there on, on quite a bit of uh, Keithley stuff. I believe it was bought a number of years ago by Tektronix. So, uh, I haven't had too much Keithley stuff, but anyway, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's completely vacuum tube. If you can see that in there, you probably, let's see, probably see those voltage regulators glowing. It's got four big tubes over there with plate caps on them, a kind of a higher voltage 6L6 version. An absolutely gorgeous instrument. It looks like every tube in it is original. I've had it apart. I had to change the power cord. That was the only thing that was wrong with it. Um, I have found out over the years of equipment I've had that this high-end stuff is oftentimes you're oftentimes much much better off when you get it if it has all the original tubes because what they put in it were the best of the best and that's particularly true of those uh, old Tektronix vacuum tube oscilloscopes. I actually used those things back in 1970 they were still kind of popular. They were the solid state ones, the 453s of course had come out and others, but <clears throat> the vacuum tube ones were still pretty good for communication especially because they were slow and they worked quite well. Anyway, enough of that. This thing is just unbelievable. Let me show you. Right now, well it has a residual output of about 6 millivolts. And you can see the same thing up, whoops, up here. See, 5.8 millivolts, it says. This one has to round it off to 6. They say the same thing. Well, watch me dial in a number here, like uh, there's 10 volts. 10.01. This one says it's 10.0068, so I won't move the camera around a lot. I'll go to 20 volts. I'll go to 23 volts. 1, 2, 3. 23.007 Okay, I'll go to 123 122.998 There it is, 123 223 The thing is amazing I mean, we're only off right there 20 millivolts and it looks like it's creeping up and going to get there to 223 volts. There it is. And there it is, 223. So I got it dialed in. 2, 2, 3, 0, 0. Now, of course, if you dial in 844.22 volts, I can't read it that accurate anyway with any of my meters. And actually, I trust all my meters. I use them a lot. And, uh, by using them, you're out. You're always checking them out. But this is just a gorgeous instrument. I, had, I did not see it documented out there on YouTube. So before I am unable to document it and uh, before it goes away, I thought I'd uh, I'd post it in case somebody else runs across for one. Model 241 regulated high voltage power supply. An amazing instrument. Um, for those that watch my other YouTube videos, here's that. Um, VT25 amp, and uh, let, me, let me show you how that performs. It's actually pretty horrible. There it is, right there. Pretty bad, huh? Let's check out the light. Pretty bad. 2% way down here. Whoops. See, there's 100 hertz. So it's only, you can, it never gets below, much below about 1.3% THD. Pretty bad. And, but the 6B4 is, is quite a nice amp. And I listen to it a lot. There it is. Look at the difference. See, there's 20 hertz down here, the bottom. It starts rising. It's up to, um, let's see, here's 20 kilohertz right here. It's up to about 1. Um, about 1.8%. 20 kilohertz sounds really nice I'm enjoying it 
but the uh, VT25 amp just didn't work out very very good for me and uh, I'm not altogether sure why it's got a different output transformer for one thing but I think it matches okay I did try some 1626's in there I'm, I've been uh, really juggling this thing around quite a bit lately and trying different tubes in it and I was disappointed in them too I think some of these old tubes are uh, are just going to remain old tubes to me and I think I've had my fun with them got to get back on the big 833 amp now that I've got some uh, solid state devices in for its driver but anyway back to the old Keithley gorgeous instrument so if you ever run across one and you can get it for for cheap you may want it uh, if for nothing else calibration checking over your meters assuming that it hasn't been tinkered with the output is maximum is 20 milliamps so you're not going to run a big high power amp off of it so I hope you enjoy it